Good morning. I am Devasena. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about second place robotic case study in mechatronics system. This topic is present in the subject mechatronics. Mechatronic systems are widely used nowadays in many industries. Let us see one example here. Case study one, pick and place robot. Pick and place robot is the one which is used to pick up an object and place it in the desired location. It can be a cylindrical robot providing a movement in horizontal, vertical and rotational axis. A yeah, spherical robot providing two rotational and one linear movement. An articulate robot or a yeah, SEARA robot. Fixed robot with the three vertical axis rotary arms. Pick and place robot actually consists of a rover, an end effector, an actuators, sensors, and a controller. Let us discuss the rover part. A yeah, rover is the main body of the robot consisting of several rigid bodies like a cylinder or a spear, joints and links. It is also known as a manipulator. End actuator. End actuator is the body connected to the last joint of the rover which is used for the purpose of gripping or handling objects. It can be an analogy to the arm of a human being. Actuators They are the drivers of the robot. It actually actuates the robot. It can be any motor like servo motor, stepper motor or pneumatic or hydraulic cylinders. Sensors. They are used to sense the internal as well as the external state to make sure the robot functions smoothly as a whole. Sensors involve touch sensors, eye sensors, etc. Controller Controller is used to control the actuators based on the sensor feedback and this control the motion of each and every joint and eventually the movement of the ND effector. Let us discuss the working of a basic pick and place robot. The basic function of a pick and place robot is done by its joints. Joints are analogous to human joints and they are used to join the two consecutive rigid bodies in the robot. To add a joint to any link of a robot, we need to know about the degrees of freedom and the degrees of movement for that body part. Degrees of freedom implement the linear movement, linear and rotational movement of the body and degrees of movement imply the number of axes the body can move. Advantages of pick and place robot. 
they are faster and they can get the work done in seconds compared to their human counterparts. They are flexible and have the appropriate design. They are accurate. They increase the safety of the working environment and actually never get tired. Practical applications of pick and place robot. First one, defense applications. Can be used for surveillance and also to pick up harmful objects like bombs and defuse them safely. Second, industrial applications. These robots are used in manufacturing to pick up the required parts and place it in the correct position to complete the machinery fixer. Third one, in medical applications. These robots can be used in various surgical operations like in joint replacement operations, orthopedic and internal surgery operations. It performs the operations with more precision and accuracy. Thank you very much for listening this lecture. If you like this lecture means kindly share this video to your friends. For further updates kindly subscribe my channel. Thank you.